Yo, what's going on guys? Alex here. Just wanted to drop a little off the cuff style video here and quickly let you in on the 10 telltale signs of why you do not need a music video. So let's dive right in. First things first, no one is listening to the music you currently have out. This happens and I've had to go through more of it than I'd like to admit, but unfortunately it's just not a good business move to spend money on a product that you know won't sell. Spend that time perfecting your craft, releasing more music in ways that cost less money and build that following from there. So the industry loves it when you can show that there is actually demand for your product. And in this case, that's a music video. You'll notice that I'll keep equating artists to businesses and and that's kind of my key point here. The more you can learn about business in general, the more it can help you to market your music and to build your audience. Golden ideas don't strike everyone, but just making another unmemorable music video isn't going to get you noticed either. Try to be creative, use your music as inspiration and find ways to get your point across. As a director, I can help with creating something unique, but it takes time to develop the idea and it takes time to develop the framework. So as an artist, if what you focus on is the story, then a director like me can come up with the visual ideas to make it work. Just a light guideline or a potential story structure can turn your video into a masterpiece. Simple ideas are often the most effective. Don't fall into the trap of creating another cliche video just because it's easy. That being said, if you already have an amazing idea and you approach the director with it, chances are they're more likely to want to work on it. It helps them also to branch out and create something awesome. And the collaboration is really what you guys need. When you're shopping for your next music video, usually the first thing that comes up is price. That's cool and it's good to know what you can afford, but if you can come up with a budget, then a director is a lot more likely to give it to you straight about your project. Video is permanent and you wouldn't wanna shop for something like a tattoo artist based on price. Personally, I get excited to work with an artist if their idea is great, but you should also be putting money away for a music video. All that money doesn't need to go to the director, shooter, editor, etc. but you should have money set aside to promote the video after it's all said and done. Be sure to budget for location, actors, set dressing, and everything else you'll need to bring your production to the next level. If you give your director a budget, chances are they will be able to come up with a lot more than if you had just paid their going rate. If you get out of your comfort zone, a lot more opportunities will come up. If it's already on your Spotify, it probably doesn't need a music video. You need a promotional push behind your music videos to give them more impact. Not every song needs a music video, but you wanna put your money on the one that you think is going to be your hit. Take a look at your favorite big artists. They all have a push behind their next big song and it's all released at the same time. I can't really change your mind on this, but if you look at all your favorite artists, there's a clear path to success. All successful artists put a large amount of money into their music videos for a reason. They want to create experiences they can share with their fans. Do you have a clear vision of who you are? Can you describe your image in a few words? Music videos are fun in the sense that they don't have to look the same. In fact, it's kind of cool when some of them don't, but the expectation you always want to set is that your music either sounds professional or is intentionally edgy. If you're working with something like a stylist, make sure that you're picking the right one for the job. I've talked about this in a previous video, so you can check that out if you haven't. Not everyone is cut out to be in front of the camera and a few acts have made it without showing their face, but damn, it seems like that is the harder way to go in my opinion. If having a secret identity is your way of communication, then this tip isn't for you. Basically for everyone else, Get in front of the camera, do some live streams of you making songs, take some selfies, hire a photographer. Your brand and business is about you. So start posting about yourself and people will listen. Hiring a videographer, filmmaker, director, whatever you call it, it takes time for that person to get all of their gear ready, plan the shoot, prep the location, organize the talent, and have patience during the whole process. As the artist, it's your job to respect their time and take the video shoot seriously. Don't invite your friends who won't be serious about the shoot. Don't be hopping locations or stopping the take and jumping to new ideas too quickly. The director knows you're spending your hard earned money on this music video, so do it right. And don't pressure them to shoot with minimal preparation. Your video will be a lot worse because of it. At this point, I've shot enough music videos to know that you need to have a release strategy for your video. Talk to the right people 
people to get on the right playlists, be featured in articles when your track drops, get on podcasts to promote current and upcoming music, spend some money on some pre-roll ads, go ahead and ask me to make some social media promo material for your release. Take the time to really put something behind the body of work. Not everything works out, so make sure you reach out to a lot of potential avenues to get featured. Start treating your art as a business and you'll be sure to have more success. Even if the end strategy is to eventually work with a label or artist management, you should know this stuff and practice it as your first steps to creating your marketing strategy. Otherwise, you will just get taken advantage of in the long run. Just a quick disclaimer, I don't wanna hear anything about being a sellout. That just really isn't a thing anymore. If you wanna be an independent artist, you have to know the business. Don't let people who seem to know more take advantage of you. Set a damn deadline for everything. That which gets measured gets managed. Someone who is way smarter than me once said that. So you have to make yourself accountable for your own career. It's only you to blame for getting in your own way. Now what you should do with your deadline is still build up some contingency. Some shoots can't always happen when you thought they could. Some people aren't available and plans change. Your deadline can change too, but make sure you always have one set and you're always trying to hit the mark. I know this one was directed to the artist, so like I said at the top, if you direct music videos and are tired of unprepared artists, please do me a favor and share this with all your artist friends and clients. Tap that like button and subscribe if you feel so inclined. My name is Alex Cyprian. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.